It's been five days since businessman Dinesh Shafter was murdered in the heart of the city of Colombo and the murder remains a mystery. Detectives from the Criminal Investigation Department recorded statements from eight people on Monday and among them is the wife of the late Dinesh Shafter, Tani Shafter. The CID also said that detectives record a statement from Executive Krish Pereira who had visited the public cemetery in Borella based on information provided by Mrs. Shafter. Around the clock investigations are taking place on several leads. We have not identified a definite suspect. Detectives have not concluded their investigations to make any charges. The investigations carried out thus far have revealed a timeline of the murder of businessman Dinesh Shafter. On the day of the murder, Shafter had left his residence down Flower Road in Colombo at around 1.55 in the afternoon. Investigations revealed that Shafter had also visited a restaurant located down Malalasekar Mavata in Colombo for a quick meal. It was at around 2.15 in the afternoon that Shafter's wife Tani had sent a WhatsApp message inquiring if he would be back soon. Former cricket commentator Brian Thomas has revealed that at around 2.42 in the afternoon, he received a WhatsApp message from Dinesh Shafter's phone. This message had read, I am waiting for you. Brian Thomas had responded that he did not understand what the message meant and responded that there is no need to meet due to the problems that had occurred between them in December last year. Thomas also revealed to police that at around 2.43 in the afternoon, he received another WhatsApp message from Dinesh Shafter, where the latter had said he has deleted all messages as requested. Thomas had responded to this by WhatsApp, questioning when did he ask Dinesh Shafter to do so. According to the CID, Dinesh Shafter was already at the public cemetery in Burella by 2.45 in the afternoon. The former cricket commentator suspects that someone else had used Dinesh Shafter's mobile phone to message him. Thomas has said that he used to associate Dinesh Shafter closely at one time and was well aware of his command of English, adding that the style of messaging was different to what he was familiar with. It was close to around 3.30 in the afternoon that Krish Pereira had come across an unconscious Dinesh Shafter. At 3.55 p.m., Shafter was taken to the Kalamu National Hospital in his own car and was admitted. Until then, Neither police nor Mrs. Shafter were aware of what happened to Dinesh Shafter. Is it even possible for a well-known businessman like Dinesh Shafter to be killed in broad daylight at the public cemetery in Borella at a time when six separate funerals were taking place simultaneously? If not, was he rendered unconscious somewhere else and moved to the public cemetery in Borella? As a businessman, he had a lot of connections. This murder is a mystery. The organized crimes and homicide investigation detectives are supporting the inquiry. Individual teams have been assigned to investigate the murder. What is the mystery surrounding the murder of this businessman who was killed in the city of Colombo?